In this lesson, we're going to round a number to a given significant figure. We begin with 16.7. Now, the first and the most significant figure is the 1, because it has the highest place value. And you can see that 16.7 would be about here, or closer to 20 than it is to 10. And also, the 6, which is the number after the 1, does round up the 1 to a 2. So to one significant figure, 16.7 would become 20. For question B, the most significant figure here is the 6, because we have 0 units, and the 6 has a greater place value. So it is between 0.6 and 0.7. And it is exactly halfway. However, because the number after the most significant is 5 or more, it does round up the 6 to 7, so it becomes approximately 0.7 to 1 significant figure. We have to 1 significant figure is the 8 or 800, and 857.9 is between 800 and 900, and it is closer to 900, or in this case, the 5 does round up the 8 to a 9, so again, it becomes approximately 900. Now, to two significant figures, it is between 9.9 .9 and 10. 9.95, the 5 does round up the 9 to a 10, which in turn rounds up the following 9 to a 10, so 9.954 becomes approximately 10. For question E, we're going to match the red cards to the correct blue card. And we'll take 159.26 to one significant figure. Well, the 5 does round up the 1 to a 2. So to one significant figure, it becomes approximately 200. For this one, the 4 doesn't round up the 1, so this becomes approximately 100, which is here. Now, to two significant figures, in this case, the 9 does round up the 5 to a 6, so this becomes approximately 160 to two significant figures, and the 7 does round up the 4 to a 5, so that becomes approximately 150 to two significant figures. And finally, to three significant figures, the two doesn't round up the nine because it is left in five. So that becomes approximately 159 to three significant figures. And the seven is rounded up to an eight because of a five next to it. So that becomes approximately 148 to three significant figures. Thank you for watching, I hope you found that useful.